And hello, hello, welcome back to Side Quest. Welcome back to Shadow Altis. We're going to explore some more, I can't wait. Well, I guess we were still exploring. I don't know what I'm talking about. I kind of felt like we spent a lot of the last week or so being in more closed kind of dungeony places, but that's not true. We were doing a lot of exploring out here. Just had a very different vibe, I guess, than the kind of open fields we started in. This feels more like that, I guess. Whatever, I'm excited to explore. You get what I'm saying? Maybe. Or maybe you don't. We're exploring either way, it doesn't matter. Oddly combative energy to start the episode with, right? I know. But that's your problem. Sorry. Um, I think we're done with all this. This did not take me where I hoped, but now I want to watch for more things like this, because I feel like there might... It could be that there's another. Out and about. And they're pretty tall and noticeable. I guess I don't have another imbued key, so... Heck, maybe there's not another one. But if that's the case... I have no idea how I'm getting to that island. Whatever. That's a future concern. Have I gotten down here yet? Because I want to say no. But also how. This, I think, seems safest. Yeah. And I'm not seeing too many obvious threats. Just an undefended shiny. Thank you. And the ability to jump down to places which I have definitely been. It's interesting how many parts of this little castle area you can only reach by getting through it and looping back and dropping down at various points from the cliffs above. I guess you could go down there too. I, I don't see anything past the waterfall. I see solid rock walls. And I don't trust the messages down there. In any case, it's going to be slightly easier to attempt that jump from that side if I do it at all, so. Well, I guess I'm warping back up to the top anyway. Oh, that seems like a good way to hurt yourself. But then I don't know if we've been down there either. This is actually all kind of interesting. This really might be too far. Eh. Oof, okay. Hurts, but... Just survivable. Nothing. Like I thought. But... From here we can reach there. Awesome. We probably could have done that from up there just as easy or easier, really. Eh, maybe we can't reach that. That's pretty far. We can go here, though. And this, I believe, is new. Oof. Careful there. <laughs> We're going through zones at a rapid pace. This might be an easier jump on foot. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I'm okay. And this might be nothing. 
But you gotta check. Because what if... Alright, not seeing ways to jump down there. Am seeing ways to go over here, which... Again, I feel like there's probably other... Wait a minute. We are still... This is a place we could have gotten before. It is. Yeah, totally. We... I thought this was a dead end. Or like a place that I'd been before, so I didn't ride down here. But yeah, we're like at the ground level out here again. We were here days ago. Didn't realize I could get down to this part. Not that there was anything here to find, but... Does give you a way to get back out once you jump down here, I guess. Neat. But ultimately not useful. No, now it is time, I think, to start jumping down a little more direct. Want to get down here. Need to find... the least... Deadly way to do it. And that is actually looking like it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Now that I'm here. I thought at the time there was a safer way to start dropping, and maybe there is, but... Okay, no, wait, there is. There's a little bit. A little scary still, but... This will work. Might need to do a bit of a jump here. Whee! Yeah, all right. They can't keep me out. Fog Rift Fort. I made it. And I can summon already, which is concerning. This is one of those times you definitely wish you had brought a fire spell. I suppose pots will have to do. Hefty one seems like overkill. Let's make ourselves some of these giants flame fire pots. We have so many fire blossoms. There's one other kind of pot I was curious to try making, wasn't there? One of these. Didn't end up needing to use it. I was going to make one, though. Seems like, for a certain kind of enemy, that could be very helpful. Fire pots, here we go. Actually, even better... If I lure... One or two over here. And then... Ah, y'all are moving a little faster than I prefer, that's fine. Ha. It's not going quite how I expected, though I'm fine with it. What a good spell. So maybe not an ideal angle. Ha! Nope, I am still here. You can't just ignore me. Or at least you shouldn't. That seems a mistake. 
Okay, blow! No, oh, that's not really a good dropping attack with a... I forgot, I keep my, uh... Seal in that hand now. Old habits. Yeah. Goodness. Now, where were we? Lots of places we can jump. Though I am not in any rush to do so. They do like throwing their fire. Oh yeah, we've not been here either, have we? Nah. One thing at a time. Catch. Yes, yes. All right. You shouted and now you're all poised up. Okay. Easy. Do the sneaking, don't be the sneaked up upon. Goodbye! Another place we can climb down or up, I guess. And a route over here. Sure. Another Black Knight, which is fine. Wait. I beg your pardon. You're a named one, I see. With a very, very unique goofball skill. <laughs> uh, from. Y'all are a delight. <laughs> so silly. That it pulls me in. Absurd. Oh, goodness. Boy, you do like fighting with a shield, huh? I'll get you. There we go. Better. Yep, nope, I like that move too. It's great. Nice. Ha, mine hit first. Too early, but we're fine. Nope. Stop it. Nice. Going pretty good. Nope. Goodness. The armor on this one. You done. There we go. K. 
can't wait to... Oh, I was really hoping we'd get that dropped because I wanted to read the description on that very badly. I'm sure we'll find it. <laughs> what a goofy power. Goodness, there's lots of little branches to this location. And breakable things. So, let's see. Back up on the walls. Please, no one throw fire. Okay, that's fine. Hit me with fire, fine. Anything else, bad. That's just fine. Boy, there's a lot of exploding barrels. This is quite the safety hazard. Would be kind of nice having a grace fire around here. I definitely want to contend with this area down there from that far side, though. They're all pointed this direction. Don't know where this is leading, but gotta find out. Really, you need Fort. Oh. Another way up, and... Where's here? Oh, now we can get up there. I guess we're higher up now. Bit of a dangerous jump. Hmm. This first. Yes. Arrows Soaring Sting Talisman. A talisman composed of fletched and ironed arrows increases the effective range of bows and raises attack power of arrows and bolts. Does it make bow builds... like... functional? Because that would be a nice first. I kind of doubt it. The weighty shields carried by the Black Knights, servants of Mesmer the Impaler, made of black steel with decorative embellishments in gold. Symbolic of their iron conviction in their crusade, the Black Knights will never yield, nor will they ever doubt their purpose. Hmm. Okay, well, we found all our goodies here. Jumping off this way, I'm guessing, is a way to get back where we were before. Yep. Hopefully. Also a shiny. Um. What? Oh, just a very... What? I think a rat got defeated out here. Yeah, and it's just physics are being weird, but... I don't know how the rat got defeated, and the physic. It just looked like a bizarre plant that I could not figure out at all. <laughs> it was very strange. But in a game full of strange things, your first guess is always that it is something intentionally made. Like the storm outside of Bale's Arena stopping when I went the wrong way on accident. Hmm. Oh. 
Not sure how I get to these guys, but this seems a much safer way to deal with them. Yeah, they can probably throw fire from here. That's fine. Or maybe they'll... Oh, that's how you get there. Neat. Thanks for revealing your secret, sucker. Axes! Too slow. Boom. Boy, that is an effective spell. Nice. And I do want to look over there. It's clearly not getting me up top. I don't know how. I don't know how we're getting over there, but... Not that way. Probably this... Yeah, that way. That's how we're doing it. So, okay, the secret, then, is here and... Yeah, okay, yeah, there's stairs. I don't notice the stairs. Nifty. Awesome. What kind of hefty pot does that do? Hefty oil pot, ah. Highly situational and resource intensive, but I imagine throwing hefty oil and then hefty fire would wreak a lot of havoc. Can I drop down? Because again, this seems the way safer. So yeah, this is the way to do it. Very much so. Haha! <laughs> I dashed, but it didn't really work. Whew. Careful. It's very dangerous. I can definitely overpower, so long as I can get in and not get staggered on the approach. These axes... hit fast like the claws do, but with more force. So more likely to overwhelm. Pretty effective. Not against all enemies, but some. Ooh. Now there's a new toy. A flail with coiled snakes for bludgeoning heads. Fire roars within the snake's bodies, inflicting horrible burns. Some of Mesmer's army use these flails to burn horn scent, to brand them with agony and fear. Flare, O Serpent. Ignites a flame inside the snakes, temporarily empowering flame attacks. Once ignited, strong attacks and other moves that strike the ground will cause an explosion. And... More a dexterity faith weapon, seems like. Which is fine. Honestly, that's a pretty rare combo. Good to see them getting some toys. Strong chops. Nice. Very strong chops charged. Goodness. Get you. Goodness, yeah, that damage adds up fast. I'm enjoying these things. Oh, 
that was that all down here? Okay. Yeah, we definitely found the easy way to do this part. Goodness. Here is the question, though. How do we get down here? I guess we can jump down. Seems dangerous. Well, let's go looking. There's got to be a way. Hmm. At least I thought that. Then again, it's really hard to tell if that actually leads to anything. That, well, like the path goes here, kind of, but... I don't know. Feeling increasingly skeptical, but... Hmm. If we go over here... Yeah, I guess that's kind of nothing, huh? No, we've actually covered all this. This will not get us to that side. I don't know how you get to that side. Actually, no. Probably like a route down here that leads into some kind of elevator that'll bring you up. Something like that. Okay, well, cover this then. And that's a mystery for another time. I suppose... Yeah, I think that's all that. Let's be instead coming back here and riding kind of down this away. Start exploring this stuff. Yeah. We can get a level two, we should. Oh, we almost can. Let's fix that. I would like very much to have the level. That'll probably do it, right? Oh, yeah. Almost up to 60. And, yes, I... So lots of folks have been letting me know that, like... You don't really hit hard caps on these things until much later than you'd think. Well, which I do know, but like there's kind of the soft cap that you start hitting for a lot of these numbers where the amount of returns you get start shrinking a good bit and like it drops off very suddenly. And then there's the hard cap where it really drops off and you get only tiny gains for additional levels. So I, I could take Vigor all the way up to I think like 80 or something. Uh, I think these soft caps... Mm. I think the soft caps for, like, strength and, and dexterity and intelligence, and a lot of these are generally around 50-ish, but you can keep pushing it further. It's kind of true for a lot of these, really. Endurance, I think, at 40 is a pretty safe pick. Mind could go higher, but it's working fine for me. I'm not a... I've got a lot of magic options now, which I love, but I'm not leaning so much on magic that I need to have tons and tons and tons of spells at the ready all the time. Still mostly doing melee. So I think getting this up to at least 60. And then maybe keep faith climbing, because I've been enjoying that a lot. That kind of seems like what I'm leaning toward. It's very yellow here. We've been to many yellow places, but... 
Hard to find many places much more yellow than here. On the yellow scale. On that scale. From one to yellow. This is all the way up at yellow. Oh. One of these things actually has, like, people at it. Kind of a pointless fight to pick, I think. Very. I don't even think y'all are guarding anything. Unless... Maybe these are... I don't think they're lootable. I really don't. Excuse me. Rude. I was riding that horse. Jerks. Ah, it's a bear. Hi, bear. Yes, hello. Fine. I was fine not fighting, bear. Please calm down. Are these something you can interact with? Because I don't, I thought, no. That's what I thought. Though they do also, they look like the kind of thing that could potentially be an interactable, like a big chest or a thing you could rob. Hmm, curious about this little pond up here. I predict... Either the rune bears do exist up here, or... yeah, yeah. Hooray. That's like a shadow bear, isn't it? Which is going to be much worse. But rune bears are exactly the enemy that you can put to sleep. So maybe... Maybe this is a good opportunity. Oh boy, that does look mean. Maybe this doesn't function like regular rune bears, but... What if this realm is giving us a lot more sleep type toys? Imagine. And if we do have to summon, I feel like this is a Tish situation. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, I'll start going for sleep right away to start. Let's keep that in our pocket. Bravo the Great Red Bear. Hooray, hooray. Okay. Ooh, you know beast moves. All right, I'm curious. Night night. You do not care that much. Wait. You dozing. Leaving yourself way open to hits. I love that. It works. It still works. Beautiful. Don't suppose you'd fall for that again. Maybe. 
Maybe. Yeah! Yeah! Shut down! I'm a genius! We need fear the bears no longer! The pelt of Ralva the Great Red Bear worn upon the head without modification enhances incantations of what is jokingly called Bear Communion. <laughs> This untreated hide won at the end of a bloody bout is just the thing to make a wild bear out of a warrior. Isn't it just? Well, suppose we did earn it. Might be a little heavy. Oh, no, not much heavier than our current thing. <sighs> this silly game. Boy, that feels good to have strategized around. Oh, sorry, were you wanting to help with that? Oh, you're not. My mistake. I mistook you for someone else. Which is to say, an alive person. Wait. That was familiar looking stuff, actually. Or was it? Leg wraps worn by Highland warriors made of sturdy leather and fastened with winding straps. The addition of animal pelt helps keep the wearer warm. Highland warriors are known to be hunters of bears. To them, there is no act more glorious than the subjugation of a savage beast. Okay, I was worried briefly for some reason that this... There was something about this, I think, that reminded me of Freya for some reason, even though the rest of the outfit looks nothing like Freya's stuff, so... Just my imagination. I'm sure we'll run into plenty of whoever these are. Must be getting too warm in this room. My brain is drawing wacky connections and mistaking statues of America for NPCs. More poison, goody, goody, goody. So much more poison. Can't wait. Although, honestly, regular poison? That's just fine. We've had worse. And may do so again. Bears, I already fought the big bear. We can... Just skip past this part where we fight. Yes. I'd like to think yes. I want to see what all's down this away. It's kind of looking interesting. And... Very frame droppy. But we are out in the open with a whole lot of stuff everywhere, so that tracks. So, journeying down here, around them, because I don't feel like fighting more of them. Hmm. 
There's the camp which we should actually raid now. There's a grace fire not far from it where there was deadly f what's his name? Dane? Dryleaf Dane. Close enough. You know, Deadleaf Dale. Our good not too talkative buddy, Deadleaf Dale. Can't wait to go say hi. Come on, worms. What is... this? What is this? Doing here? I mean, thank you, but what is this doing here? Not even in a temple or chapel or anything. Pardon me. Not really sure where I'm going, but whoa, hello. They're growing a little baby herd tree down here. They're trying to do sort of a bit of local ecological sabotage. At least that's how I'm reading it, Hyperfumers. No, you don't. Yeah, I feel like they planted like a little herd tree seeds down here. Heal from afar? Interesting. I don't know if that's ever been an option in a Souls game before. An herd tree incantation discovered in the realm of shadow. Fires a projectile toward distant allies that greatly restores HP on contact. Even when far beyond, far out of sight, the herd tree will surely give us its blessing. Neat. That perhaps explains the little statue out there. Where's this leading, though? Oh, down here. To poison. Hooray. Goody, good, good. That there's a poison swamp, all right. It is, it is. But honestly, that they have not been throwing rot swamps at us just out the gate, or some new, even higher, worse tier of poisonous goo, or swamp, or anything. Commendable restraint. For now, we'll see how long it lasts. Still do want to be careful about how far north I go. Eh. Yeah. I feel, you know what? I'm going to leave a marker here. We're going to come back here. I do want to see more here. Just want to be careful about how north I go. Let's go say hi to Dale. So... How you been? Ah, yes. The hat. Funny story. I fought a big red bear. Actually, it's, it's pretty simple and not that funny story now that I tell it. Well, good seeing you. Let's... Raid the encampment. With axes. Mm. 
I am in an axie mood. Hello. Haha, <laughs> too slow. Suckers. Ow. Goodness, the reach. Fine. Shields it is. That wasn't too bad. Huh? Screw your dinner. Boy, they're just handing these out like candy now. Happy day. Any little chests lurking about? Ooh. Fire Knight cookbook. Mesmer fire grease and drawstring mesmer fire grease. I see. A record of crafting techniques left by the fire knights who served Mesmer the Impaler. Details the art of wielding fire for the benefit of soldiers setting out to join the crusade. I have been using a lot of weapons that don't really work with grease of any kind. Here's the claws would. Well, no, no, that would remove their bleed status buildup, which against certain enemies might be an improvement. Pretty niche use case, though. For my build, anyway. Oh, good, the lobsters are back. Hooray. Heck, they're probably worse. So many happy discoveries we're making up here in Shadow Altus. At least I should attack one of these. It seems like they're going to drop something fancy, given all the horns. Eh, maybe not. It does look like a regular lobster, but... Hmm... I still suspect it of treachery. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go. Do not need to stick around these snipers. Although they... Ugh. They probably dropped something good. Whoa! Or do something new. I don't remember that move. Nice. This shield and this lightning-infused axe are actually great things for fighting these things. That's a little different feeling, too. I'll worry about it later. That seems like a grab attack that would hurt. I'm gonna get you with my, one of my guard counters. Come on. Gonna get you. Oh no. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. Come on. Ah. 
Sneaky. No. No thanks. Perhaps they are unremarkable. That seems like that should be collectible. Um. Well, it's bugged. So we're right here now, and I think I might see something interesting. Huh? No, oh, never mind. I thought this might be a little sneaky cave. Hmm. Boy. Now there is a sunrise. Or set, I've lost track. What have I found? Oh. I don't think we've seen any of y'all out here. I think we might have found another... Forge? Maybe? Hello. This is looking like another forge to me. Or maybe just a mine. Ruined Forge of Starfall Past, A. Eh? Cool name. And a most convenient grace fire. Sweet. All right, well, we'll start exploring this thing next week. Have a good weekend, everyone. And I'll see you Monday. Farewell.